I remember me. A while ago, I made a film called Easy Rider. Well, I'm here to say it's not so easy. I'm Peter Fonda. I've ridden bike for quite a few miles. Quite some time, too. It's a great way to get around. It's a good sport if you know what you're doing. If you don't know, it can be a quick ride to the hospital or even the graveyard, which are two good reasons why you should watch and listen to what this film has to say. Here's another friend of mine, Ryder Evil Knievel. If I look like I'm rigging up for a trip into outer space, you're right. I don't swing a leg over a bike for a trip to the neighborhood drugstore unless I've got on leathers, boots, and gloves. They've saved a lot of hide, especially in accidents like mine. And goggles and a face shield are a must. They may save you from being blinded if you're riding a motorcycle behind an automobile. And a helmet? Nobody should ever ride a motorcycle without a helmet. I never do. Three out of four fatalities on a motorcycle have resulted from head injuries. If the rider had been wearing a helmet, he may be alive today. Another thing that's important, don't get on a strange bike without checking the brake, the gas, and especially your rear view mirror. You have to get the feel of a new bike too before you hit the road. Get familiar with the controls. For example, on some models, the foot brake is located on the right and on others, the left. Balance varies from model to model too. And these are things you ought to have a feeling for before you tangle with traffic. If you're an experienced rider, that should make sense. If you're a beginner, don't do any of these things, not on your own. You should be learning to ride under the supervision of a pro. Training is available through schools, police departments, and motorcycle dealers. By the way, three out of five bike accidents happen to beginners during their first six weeks of riding. Boy, this is slick. But hey, in case you're thinking that Knievel and I are a couple of nervous old ladies, let's not forget the kind of thing that Knievel has done. but it still takes a lot of rider to handle a freeway. You've got a lot going for you on a bike if you really use it. If a car cuts you off, your braking and downshift will stop you much more quickly than a car. Same goes for superior acceleration and maneuverability on a bike that can get you out of bad spots fast. Take a good look. Your controls are positioned for almost instant response if your hands and feet are where they belong. Brakes, clutch, downshift, maneuverability. Acceleration. And for visibility, there's nothing like it. 360 degrees of unobstructed vision if you keep your eyes open and know when and where to look. If the trouble isn't with the rider, there's still the threat of the car driver. For some reason, most car drivers just don't seem to see bikes. So you've got to think of them as asleep, blind, or drunk. The records show that nine out of 10 bike accidents at intersections are chalked against cars turning in front of or into cycles. And in most cases, the driver will honestly claim that he didn't see the motorcycle. There is some help in making yourself as visible as you can with what you're wearing, like a white helmet. Also, if you keep a safe distance behind the car you're following and ride over in the left side of the lane, you give yourself an edge. Even when that asleep, blind, or drunk driver tries to wipe you out, you've had time and space to anticipate trouble. 
to avoid it. But you still can't relax after you've passed the corner. Hard statistics show that mid-block bike accidents split just about evenly with intersections. Give parked cars a wide berth. An opening door can really cream you. And never forget that bit about the sleeping blind or drunk driver. And it's a good idea to have your headlight on at all times, day as well as night, whether or not it's required by local laws. On a three-lane highway, it's good practice to ride the middle lane. That means if there's trouble ahead, you can choose between right and left lanes to duck into. And stick to the side of the lane you're riding to avoid oil slicks, which are usually concentrated in the center of the lane. One thing a bike doesn't have over a car is good traction in oil, snow, or gravel. The left side of the lane is usually better than the right, of course, because a car driver can see you in his rearview mirror, while the right side of a car is generally a blind spot. But even more important, in the right or left side of the lane, you can see ahead of the car in front of you. You should be able to see at least three cars ahead at all times. That really counts when traffic gets rough. Forget about slot riding, man. Even if you seem to have plenty of space, that hole in between cars can disappear a lot faster than you can get through it. If all this has you wondering if maybe you ought to sell your bike, here's an interesting hunk of information. Motorcycle police of the Los Angeles Department ride by the book. Or if they don't, they're just not on the motorcycle squad anymore. They follow the rules and they've put together a safety record of less than 18 accidents per million miles ridden. That's compared with 27.9 accidents for every million miles driven by the department's fleet of patrol cars, which is almost 10 less accidents for bikes than cars for every million miles. motorcycles can be safe. So let's do a quick double take of how it can be that way with you. Here's a motorcycle safety test. Make sure you know the right answers before you get back on a bike. Question number one. Protective clothing like boots, goggles, leathers, and helmet are strictly for beginners. An experienced rider does not need them. True or false? The answer is false. The more experienced a rider, the better he knows that he does not belong on a bike unless he is dressed to protect himself against that accident that can always happen. Question number two. If you are a good rider, it is okay to hop aboard any bike and take off. True or false? The answer is false. It's important to check out a bike thoroughly. Brakes? Gas, lights, handling, the works before you hit the road.
Question number three. Nine out of ten bike accidents at intersections are caused by car drivers, not the motorcycle rider. True or false? True. Car drivers just don't seem to see bikes. You have to think of them as asleep, blind, or drunk. Question number four. Chances of an accident in the middle of a block are less than at intersections. True or false? False. Middle block accidents are just about equal to intersection smash-ups, so don't relax between intersections. Question number five. It is a good idea to ride the middle lane on a three-lane highway. True or false? The answer is true. The middle lane gives you a chance to duck to either the right or the left when there's trouble up ahead. Question number six. Whatever lane you are in, it is safest to ride right in the middle of it. True or false? The answer is false. The middle of the lane is where you will usually find the oil slick that can throw you. And besides, if you're directly in back of a car, you can't see far enough ahead to anticipate emergencies. Question number seven. It is safer to ride in the left side of your lane rather than the right. True or false? The answer is true. A car driver can see you in his rearview mirror. His right side is usually a blind spot. Question number eight. Riding into the slot between cars is dangerous. True or false? The answer is true. You can bet on it. That slot can disappear awfully fast, and you'd better not be in it when it happens. Question number nine. The odds are against you on a motorcycle, no matter how safely you handle it. True or false? The answer is false. Police statistics show that alert, experienced riders observing all the safety rules can reduce motorcycle accidents below the normal car accident rate. Question number 10. Your headlight should only be turned on at night or on a dark day. True or false? The answer is false. Your headlight will help a lot in catching the attention of car drivers. Question number 11. Your helmet serves only one purpose, to protect you from head injury. True or false? False. If your helmet is white or light colored, it also protects you by making you more visible to a car driver. Question number 12. A car is safer than a motorcycle in every way, true or false? The answer is false. On a bike, you have greater visibility if you really bother to look, and faster stopping if you keep your hands and feet where they ought to be. Quicker acceleration, too, when you need it to pull you out of trouble. But on the other hand, it's a lot easier to flip a bike than a car and you're not surrounded by protective steel as you are in an automobile. So that if an accident happens, you're a lot more likely to get hurt. That's why you've got to be a lot better rider than a driver. Alert every split second for fast reaction to any possible threat. Okay, that's about it. Have a good trip. But don't ride too easy.